Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 5th episode of the 2nd season of Mob Psycho 100. Last episode, we had, had, had a bit of a run in with a, uh, a bit of a not typical evil spirit because this one was apparently a powerful psychic that took in, absorbed evil spirits to become some sort of psychic evil spirit hybrid abomination full of a lot of hate, so that was a problem to deal with of course. And he tried to, his mob tried to go into his body to fix him up and he got stuck there and got stepped on and turned into ashes or something. It's it's all pretty bad. And apparently mob is now going to have to deal with life without powers in some sort of like, you know, mental dreamlike state, sort of. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a hard episode to watch. I, I have a feeling, you know, lots of, uh, you know, lots of mob just being tormented, basically, so... Yeah, but I just, just guess we just gotta watch it, so. Three, two, one, play. Is it Mob? No, it's her. Okay. It was either Mob or her, so. But I guess it's her coming to Mob school, as opposed to Mom going to hers. <laughs> But I assume her is just him, looking, looking, looking like her. You know, uh, I don't remember, you know, the evil guys. I don't remember his name. But yeah, not very enthusiastic and excited to, to see what Bob's going to have to go through here. Yeah, get ready, Mob. Discord <laughs> choices. Yes, it's always a hard choice which server to join. <laughs> of course, she'd be quickly become a popular girl with, you know, money. Ugh. <sighs> What is that a hum about? <laughs> okay, so he's not gonna join her for this, I guess. Yes, stop sucking as a teacher. <sighs> What a horrible school of spiders. <sighs> How about you go away? Social skills are important. I wish I had them. Nature, dream, friendship, darkness.
And here I thought she was bullying, bullying him because she liked him. But yeah, clearly she was not a good person before she was possessed. It's an ongoing battle. Let's have a bit of faith in Mob. Yes. An epic battle happened to that body. Six months, wow. <sighs> Mysterious. <sighs> oh wow, S seriously? <sighs> yeah, Mogami Keiji was his name. <laughs> So that was his plan. I understand that you have a difference of philosophical views and ideology. That's a pretty good line. <laughs> you do that. What's he gonna do? Yes to all the questions. Yeah, he's starting to give in. <laughs> there we go. Now slaughter them all. Yeah, apparently it's easier said than done. Oh.
Maybe. <laughs> See, he's still lurking back there. <laughs> Uh, come on, just take care of this cancer. You know, if you're even capable of doing so. Uh. You existed. <sighs> okay. <laughs> no, who are you? Kill the bug. Yeah, they're getting kind of impatient. <laughs> For dumb things in this dumb world. <laughs> wow. Can't bring shame upon the Body Improvement Club. Six months plus. Oh, bring it up, that's not fair. <sighs> yeah, that's not Mom's body. Not yet, at least. You know, you could joke. <sighs> Clearly. That's probably the best takeaway you could possibly have from this experience. One more thing. Okay. <laughs> uh. Mob, you are a much better person than I am. I would have slaughtered them all and not felt bad about it.
Oh, wow. That's a problem. Oof. Ah. Let go, please. I mean, he has a much better life than you did, so... I mean, he has reason to go back. Fight the evil mob. Yes, even though she did not deserve to be saved. One hundred percent. There we go, Mob. You are powerful as well. <laughs> no. He is Mob Psycho 100%. Dimple, you don't need to talk for me. I got this. Well, I was waiting for the boom. <laughs> That's good to hear. Oh, well, don't trick me. That's a scary idea. Dimple, eat the spirits. <laughs> you don't look that Jobu at all. Not even a little bit. Oh, wow. Are you engraving into the ground? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll try not to, but it's a lot of scary stuff around you. <laughs> Don't be a snack nipple. <laughs> okay. That was cut close. Spirits everywhere. You don't know that. They're projecting. And... Uh, uh, but yeah, this is a pretty incredible animation. It's just...
I just wish I could appreciate it more, you know, and not be in such a bad mood for having to watch all the bullying scenes. Ugh. That... not a mouth you want to come into. You barely tell what's even happening anymore. Are we in space now? Uh... Not like this. Not like this. Okay. Oh. Oh, not the question mark percent. That's what happened. <laughs> this has just been a trip right here. A lot longer for Mob. He did. So I guess Sasagiri is better now. You know, still a horrible human being, but you know, no longer possessed. Well, that's what he was here for, so he can finally leave. Are you awake? Are you okay, scum of the earth? Sort of. Yeah. Well, at least she admits it. Uh, I should hope so. They can, but they usually don't. <sighs> I still haven't forgiven you, so just so you know. Well, he wasn't exactly hired, he just kind of... <laughs> Man, her opinion on him changed. That art. Uh, stupid helmet religion. I bet. Good question. Well, no, but money's money. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm sure that had more to do with it. <laughs> Mob. God damn it, that got me. Uh... <sighs> yes, an excellent decision.
Well, that was the fifth episode of Mob Psycho 100. And what's there to say with this episode? It was more or less what I expected it to be. You know, we had to put up with several minutes of watching Mob just be tormented and bullied at school. You know, by these horrible people. Which just, I always hate that sort of thing in fiction. Just It just really triggers me having to watch that sort of thing. So that quite obviously put me in a very bad mood for a lot of it. But, you know, I can still acknowledge that this was a really, really good episode. We obviously had our battle of ideals between Mob and Mogami Keiji, I think his name was. And eventually, Dimple went in there because they were getting impatient about how long it was taking Mob to come out. So Dimple got in there to try to help, and he, you know, kind of did help Mob get his memories back and realize who he truly was, and that he's not the kind of person that slaughters a bunch of people, even if they deserve it, you know. So... He just got back up on his feet and had an epic battle with, you know, Mogami. So, and that's where the real animation budget was spent, because that was pretty crazy, just all the visuals and stuff. Pretty awesome stuff, and, you know, that one part of the opening, I think it's kind of supposed to be representation of that bit. But, yeah, pretty cool to watch. It was very flashy, pretty blinding, kind of confused what was happening sometimes, but... The gist of it was he was battling him and trying to exercise all the evil spirits that he had taken inside of him to be able to free this girl from the evil spirits and stuff, and he succeeded in doing that. And, uh, you know, it was all good, I guess. <laughs> I don't really have a lot to say on this episode. But we have wrapped that arc. Wagami accepted Mob's decision in the end and is going to see how that goes. And the point was, the point did come across that Mob's life could be very different if he was, or if he was not, if he didn't have such amazing people in his life to influence him, things could go very differently for him in his life. But, uh, yeah. You know, I still don't forgive Asagiri for the horrible things she did in those six months to Mob, but, you know, seeing her apologize and cry is definitely a start, at least, so... There's that. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.